Good evening and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Modi Apparatus. It is the 25th of winter, which means it is time for the... Oh, Modi, we're going to have a baby soon. I was thinking, life's too short to eat bad food. Luckily, we live in the best regions for fresh greens and vegetables. I made this for you a healthy salad. Thanks, hon. Um, so this is the winter festival. I think it's the Spirit, Spirit's Eve or something like that. Spirit Festival. Not Spirit's Eve. Spirit is the other thing. I don't know what the, uh... Winter one is called. Your folks have got an announcement to make. This will be the last new episode of Living Off the Land before my retirement. I've had a good time. I'll miss you folks. Oh, and I've been told the station is going to be start playing reruns next year. Take care. Well, that he's given up on us. He's given up on us. This is the last new episode. They're going off the air. Finally, our favorite show has been canceled. Oh my god, that's that's heart this disheartening. Also disheartening is that we don't we don't we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't have a uh, meal. We had, we had a meal for George for the Christmas gift here, but we gave it to Gus instead. Uh, we don't have another one to make for him, unfortunately. He liked the mushroom thing here. So what we're going to do for him instead is make him something else, maybe. Uh, we need to come up with a present. Maybe this pink cake is what he gets. I might like that. Oh, a blueberry tart, maybe? Subtle and refreshing. Let's make him a blueberry tart for his uh, for Christmas here. How about that? Um, yeah, so we got, our pack is full of garbage right now, um, we have to get rid of some of this stuff here. We throw this in here, yes we can, a lot of stuff can go in here. Okay, cool. Um, let's drop off this over here. Puppy, how you doing? I don't know when the festival starts, actually. Um... So we gotta take care of that soon. We might not have a lot of time to work on anything else. But we'll turn in what we can. And get done what we can. It's not like we need money or anything like that. I mean, we've made it to the end of the year. The one thing I wanted to do, the few things I wanted to do was some of those goals I wanted to accomplish. Um, but sometimes we won't get everything done. We do have a few more days still. It's only Thursday. We have till Sunday, I think, before spring officially starts. Uh, well, Friday, Saturday. Saturday is the last day of the winter. So we have th four more days then, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, three more days only. So that means next episode, because we'll do the, 20, the 25th and 26th this time. Next episode will be the last day of the year. And then the following episode will be the grand reveal with uh, our, our grandfather's return to the farm. And he will judge us. As worthy of, of worthy an heir or not. And maybe we'll get something cool out of it, I don't know. But that's going to be kind of the ending point of the series. I think after we get that, we'll get the, the kid, hopefully. Um, and then after that, we could probably just wrap it up. Now that we're dads and all that stuff, we can we just go about our business. You know, we won't focus on the farm so much, focus on our day-to-day -day life. We are like, you know, thousand heirs at this point. We're the richest people in Stardew Valley, for sure. So, you know, I mean, yeah, we can do that. Uh, animals? Take your animals, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's take the slime ring and go put it over in the slime area. Um, we have a couple options of what to give to George for his gift here. We're either going to give the the, uh, the cake or the tart. And we'll have to decide how we feel when, we, when we, the time comes, actually. A couple more purples in there. I'll throw this in there as well. And it's breeding a red one right now. That'll That'll throw the whole thing for a loop. Kind of interested to see how that plays out. Don't know if I'm interested enough to play too much more in spring here because we really got to wrap this up. We need new, we need new series on the sh on the channel here. We've been doing the same stuff for far too long. It's time to wrap up some of the old stuff that isn't necessarily going anywhere. Um, so I'm going to be wrapping up this series here pretty soon. Uh, Starbound will be coming back very soon. So Friday, uh, the day after this comes out, the Starbound update comes out. And then after that, on Saturday is when Jay Beetle and I will be releasing episodes again for it. So if you are a Starbound fan, Chucklefish fan, if you came to this series and haven't watched our Starbound series, it is fun. Um, so I do recommend trying that out, maybe, uh, when it's available in a couple days. But then hopefully I'll have this one wrapped up by this weekend, hopefully, and uh, then I have less stuff to worry about and worry about posting and that kind of thing. Um, and then we can focus on new games and new stuff coming out and maybe old games. Who knows? We'll see. I like to focus on new games, though, mostly. Um, anything else we want to do? I mean, I guess, I guess animals was the next question, right? Where did I put my watering, my milking can? Rather, not the watering can. I have that. 
milking can. All right. So yeah, uh, there's the, there's the festival's begun already. It's nine o'clock. Okay, we got a few more. We got a few hours to get over there. Actually, I think it goes until two. So we can milk the cows and stuff. Make sure everybody's happy. It's been a long time since we've been in here. Large milks. Goat milks. Don't milk the don't milk the cheap. Oh, Dakota already was milked, okay. Alright, so we got our goats for the day. Put those in there just in case we need gifts for anybody. Uh these guys I don't want to worry about. I mean, yeah, it's a mess in here. Who cares? I don't really care about eggs anymore. Uh, I really want this to grow again so we can see how much money we can get potentially from this. Because that would be huge and really, really cool. I wonder if our uh, stuff has grown in here. It seems like it grows pretty much on the same day, just about. So these are not grown up tall yet. Oh, this is ready to go. It seems like this is like the halfway point for our wine is when the, the cranberries go. And if we want to be wealthy here, what we'll do is uh, we will... Sell off the gold star and silver star and just keep the the normals. Maybe if we really want to wrap the series up and aren't going to be playing it anymore, I think I mentioned this previously, but what we'll do is we'll just sell off everything we own and see what we can get for all of our possessions. Everything we can sell off, we will sell off. We'll try that maybe. All right, it's another 59. Holy cow. Um, I guess we'll grab these. Not that we need any more kegs or anything like that. I mean, if we really wanted to play some more on this, what we would do probably is expand. We wouldn't expand this, we'd expand another farm down here um, and increase the size of the farm in general. Have more crops every season and this have most of it dedicated to wine crops probably. I don't know. I mean, the wine crops of Starfruit seem to be the biggest thing, but if we got a summer crop of Starfruit down in the corner there and could do nonstop Starfruit the rest of the year, that'd be fantastic. I think you only get like one or two crops though in a single season. One or, one or two uh, rounds of it. Uh, let's throw these in here. This can go in here. These can get sold off. Oak resin can go in the big chest. And then we'll head over to the town square with our piddly gifts for George. He probably will hate them, I imagine. That's okay. He hates most things. All right, let's get over there and go celebrate the festival. I wonder who's going to be our secret Santa this year. We didn't get anything for Leah yet. Oh, she doesn't know that though. Well, maybe we'll think of something for her. We can't forget to give her anything before we go to bed here tonight. All right, so the festival has started without us, of course. We were a little late. Best of the Winter Star, that's what it's called. Today is a time to be thankful for the year's good fortune. Forget your worries and relax for a day. Absolutely. Um, Willie, how you doing? Do you want to hear Legend of the Winter Star? Ah, uh, sure. Suit yourself. Wait, no, I said yes. I said yes. Oh, no, I said yes! I said yes! Oh, I think we heard it last year. Um, it's been, I guess the thing with that is, it's kind of interesting, because I think you can get a star for from this somehow. Maybe if you do a good gift. Oh, that could be what it is. We didn't do a good gift last year. Let's go talk to George and see what he's like talking about here. Give George a secret gift? Sure, why not? Uh, pink cake or salad? Or her blueberry tart. The pink cake has more health to it. Let's give him some good health here. Pink cake. Oh, so it's you. Ah, uh, pink cake, thanks. He likes it. And who's our secret Santa? Oh. Maru? Thanks. Hey, Modi, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. What's it gonna be? A poppy seed muffin. Beautiful. Thank you. I like that better than the Nautilus shell I got last year. It's not much, but I hope you like it. Thanks. Oh, it's, it's nice. It's nice. A little smile for that. Um, we do miss out on the opportunity to talk to anybody here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we good. Okay, still get two. Uh, we should find Leah and track her down quick. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hi. I'm thankful for our simple life on the farm. Hey, why hello, Modi. It's chilly, isn't it? You have nothing better to say? Weather talk? Come on, man. It's a fine... It's a fine art... 
making candy canes, you really gotta search for the far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. I guess so. I mean, I don't grow any mint or anything like that. I guess you'd need spearmint or whatever. Except of a mint product. Hey, good afternoon. All right. Well, there's not much else to do here. I mean, we've talked to most of these people last year, so it's the same dialogue. Um, we got our gift, though. We're ready to go. The only guy that might be different is Kent. Kent here. Kent? How's it going, buddy? Can't get close enough to you. I can't hear... Oh, you know what? They blocked him off. We have to really get over there to see what he has to say. Let's really struggle to get there. All right. There he is. Good afternoon, Modi. Happy feasting. That was not worth it, buddy. I need something more profound than that. All right, so uh, let's let them enjoy the feast. We'll go on about our business. Merry feast to everyone, and to everyone, a good feast. Uh, yeah, we can just head in the festival. It's fine. We'll just move on with our lives. We have to get a present for Leah quick here. What does she like? She likes goat cheese. Um, let's give her a diamond. Her diamond. New diamond ring for her. Not a ring, but just a diamond. She can make a ring out of it, probably. She's artistic. This is a really nice gift, thank you. Okay, she's into it. Cool. Uh, we got a poppy seed muffin also. Eh, soothing effect. Nice. 150 energy, 60 health. Not a bad treat. Alright, let's go take a sleep and we'll take on the next day then. Alright, the 26th day of winter. The Friday before the end. No baby yet. We're on Baby Watch 2016 here. Good morning, Modi. I've planted these in a little pot back. Fiddlehead ferns. Nice. I grew that with attention and love. Well, we can use that for something. We probably don't have the other ingredients for the fiddlehead risotto or whatever it is. Fish tacos. One of the quests, one of the t achievements is to craft every single cooking recipe. Um, I think there might be one for finding every recipe and one for actually cooking every recipe. It'd be a tough achievement, actually. You'd really have to be paying attention to what you're growing. Um, and what you're picking up. Can't throw away anything at that point, I think, if you're gonna be cooking. Um, and your fridge is only so big, you can't put everything in there. Crab cakes. Nice. Speed and defense. That'd be kinda, that'd be kinda nice. Uh, anyways, let's go on to... Man, we're at 300,000, finally. I figured out to give you this recipe for longing to... I had laying around. I try not to burn it. Fried eel. Oh, thanks, George. Um, did our relationship go up that big with him? Yeah, we got a couple stars. A couple hearts, rather. Doesn't count as a gift, either. Let's go take a look and see if our... Oh, the wine did go! Oh my god. Oh yes, this is the good way to end the year here. So we get our last... Last, uh... Crop of the year for wine. Um, fantastic, right? Mostly strawberry, mostly starfruit wine, a little bit of cranberry in there too. But this does mean we don't have any starfruit to fill it back up again with, I think. And I don't think we want to, I think we want to wait for the starfruit to grow. It can't be that much longer. Ancient fruit wine, we'll see how much that sells for. Um, we'll have to stop by, though this is almost grown. One more day. Okay, we can wait one more day on that stuff for the star fruit. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we won't replant it yet. We'll wait till tomorrow. I mean, that doesn't matter. We're not going to grow another batch of this before the end of the year. The vineyard can go on, uh, you know, dormant while we're uh, on baby watch here. Uh, let's go down to Pierre's quick and turn in this wine to see how much we get for it. So I'm curious and see how far we can push this meter. Get this bad boy to roll over. Not going to be that much. It's not going to roll over to, you know, a million yet. But we're going to get, I mean, a few more weeks, we'd get close pretty pretty much. Uh, I'd like to get a crystal fruit. Keep it a secret. Okay, you can do that probably. Not open until 9 a.m. What time is it? 8, 10. Okay. Um, we had a couple things we got to do back at the mines today. Uh, and we'll take this with us here. This poppy seed muffin, and we have the salad with us. That should be enough. I say that now. We, we are going to get some dangerous guys in the mines. We have to kill... We want to kill every si single thing on the 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 list for the... Uh, I, I jumped the gun here. We want to kill everything on the list for the um, Adventurer's Guild. We want to get that completed. There is an achievement related to that. Um, so we can see if we can get that done before the end of this end of the season here, end of the end of the episodes here. So we have a little task to keep us busy for right now. As you can see, we're not super busy because we're standing outside of a 
uh, store waiting for it to open. But now we're gonna go become rich once more beyond our wildest dreams. Pierre, get ready to change your pants. Here we go. That's only 22,000. This is 172,000 though. The crystal fruit wine, 675, and the ancient fruit wine sells for 3,300 by itself. So we have a winner as far as that goes. Now the ancient fruit takes forever to grow, but once it does, it's a keeper. Wow, okay, cool. So almost to half a million dollars, 60 bucks away. Can we get there with uh, selling off a salad? We can sell this off and get there. There we go, half a million. Fantastic. That's awesome, cool. So let's go down. We have the one, we got rid of the tart, unfortunately. Let's go grab a little bit more food and wonder if there's any food in the mine chest. No, there's probably not. Uh, it's early though. We should probably get there really nice and early like this one of these days and just go with it. And uh, today seems like a fine day for that. So let's uh, neglect all the animals once more. And eh, we've been doing that pretty much for the last week here now. We'll neglect the animals once more. We'll go, uh, We'll go down to the mines and see what we can see. We got Autumn's Bounty, we got some spicy, we got Miner's Treat. All of that should be good. We'll leave behind... Oh, it doesn't really matter because we don't need to worry about that stuff. Um, we need to go kill a lot of dust sprites. We need to go kill a lot of those void spirits. We need to go kill a lot of the slimes we did already because we got the slime ring. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to kill? We need to kill skeletons. Uh, I don't remember where everything is necessarily. I think the dust sprites start about 60 though. Let's try 60. So I think the best way of doing this, and we tr started to do this last time, is to speed rush this first area here. And if we see a path down, we take it. If we don't, we go back up. That's only two that time. That's not great. Our luck might be higher right now. That's why we're not seeing as any enemies. It'll all balance out, I suppose. If our luck is low, we'll see more enemies probably. If our luck is high, we won't see as many enemies, but we'll see more, uh, not that. We don't want to do that. If we, the luck is low, we we'll, won't see as, uh, we'll see more enemies. If our luck is high, we'll see more pathways, I'm thinking. So it'll all kind of even out. So luck doesn't really factor in for this kind of quest. It does factor in for getting, this is a good way to get iron quickly, though. Holy cow. Why didn't I do this before when I did iron? We got a ton just now. Let's try 65 instead. I think the only thing I don't like about this is we have to go down two floors and then we have to go back up. So I think what we can do is 65, we can just kill everything here and then, then take the elevator down again. So if we take the elevator, we don't have to like take the time walking in between floors. So if we go 65 to 70 and then back to 65, we shouldn't have that awkward uh, walking back to the elevator from the staircase kind of thing. There's a lot of guys here. I like that. They are hitting me a little bit though. Actually, they haven't done much damage at all. Two paths already. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try this theory. We're gonna go 65 to 70. And let's see here quick. What's what's here? Anything here? Oh, see this is not what I wanted to do because now we don't have the elevator anymore. So that's kind of defeats the purpose of what I was trying to do. We do need to kill skeletons though, I think. So that's good to know that they spawn here. I don't know how many more we need, but you know what? We could do a route between 65 and 70. I guess 71. I wonder if that's 75. That might work. 65 and 75? And then we can get skeletons and then jump back for the... Um, the dust mites. Dust sprites. Leave the mine. Okay, what I'm gonna go do is take a quick, quick look and see what the... Uh, what the guild list says there, quick. Just so I make sure I'm killing the right stuff. It's locked up. It's a two. We don't waste all that time sitting here. So uh, let's get back down to the mines. Then we'll go back down to 65, kill a few more. Go back up to 75 and just do that. Well, maybe we have to do, yeah, 65 and 75. Let's try that. No more dust sprites here right now. So we'll go back down to 75 then. Well, let's go back and forth. 65 to 75. Kill some skeletons here. We see them. Oh, there's one. All right, and then we'll go back up to 65. That's why we want to use the elevator, because it's much faster, actually, much more efficient for this kind of thing.
Don't take any any ladders over. There's more over here. I think we'll level this pretty quickly, actually. I wonder if we go down as far as 45, even. 55? Let's try 55. 55 does work, so 55, 65 might be a good thing for just focusing on the dust sprites. Doesn't look like there's any over there, so we'll go back to 60, 75 then? Or 65 then? Actually, the, uh, the adventure area is open. The adventure guild is open now. So you go check that out in a moment here. All right, let's go take a look at that, because I don't want to, I don't want to spend my time wasting on skeletons if we can avoid it. Uh, but I think we do need skeletons still, we need dust sprites still, we need a few things to accomplish, and I guess we'll work on this more next episode as well. Because I don't think we'll get them all today. So let's take a look and see what we all need here. So, we need... Another 70... Oh boy, that's a lot, isn't it? Uh, we need, what is that, 65... We need 90 more? Oh god, okay, 90 more Void Spirits. We need, uh, only 9 more Skeletons, that, that's doable today, actually. And we need a, f a lot of Dust Sprites, we need 100... Would be, that's 300, would be... 208 more Dust Sprites, holy cow, yeah, that's a lot, actually. Um... Yeah, that's going to be tough to come by, I think, unfortunately. Those dust sprites are probably not going to happen today. Let's focus on what we can get done today. Skeletons, void spirits we can get a jump on. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's go back down. I guess we can keep killing dust sprites. I, the 65, 75, or 65, 50, 55 uh, jump might do the trick for us. But even so, 200 is a lot. There's one, not of the 208 we have to do. Yeah, it takes too much time. I mean, we don't, it's gonna take a long time to get this. I didn't realize we were that far off. All right, well, we're not gonna go over there and worry about that kind of stuff. When we don't see them, we're not gonna worry about it. I mean, with a day mostly of this, we do okay. There's four. So that's five, we're down to 100, 203 now. Two hundred and three. Gosh. It's gonna be a long road. Wrong lo road to climb. Uh and then we, what do we save for skeletons? We only need nine more for that. So that's 70. Yeah, 70. We could just explore this area, I think, and get the nine we need. There's one. That's uh, seven to go, six to go, five to go. Four. I wanna get over away from this ghost. Not really interested in worrying about you, buddy. I'll get you in a minute. Three, two, let's do this quick, this looks like a nice spot to put that, didn't find what we're looking for, did blow everything up though, oh there's the path, okay. And now we're one away. Yeah, I miscalculated a little bit. There we go. Sea Gill for the Monster's Lair reward. Okay. So I guess that gets us done with skeletons at least. So that's something. Leave the mine. Okay, let's go talk to them quick because I don't want them to close before we find out the re what the reward is. So we'll go do that. And then we'll uh, maybe go back down for a little bit further. And make sure, make sure we go to the right areas probably. Uh, we got a skel skeleton mask. Spooky scary. Nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll wear this we'll wear this home to scare the baby when it comes out. 
Uh, void spirits and dust sprites. Man, a lot of killing. A lot of killing. Void spirits are no joke, too. They're actually tough to kill. We run it. We ran into a fair bit of them last episode, but they are. They do some damage. They do some real damage. Um. Yeah, I don't remember which floor they start on though either. It was pretty deep though. It was pretty deep. Um, we'll have to take a look at that quick here, maybe. Make sure we're not going the wrong direction. So, I guess we focus on those void spirits for now. All right, so they are down as far as 81 and 119. So I guess that here the best situation would be to go 85 to 95 probably. And just bounce back and forth. We don't see them very often sometimes though. Sometimes we'll get a ton of them. Other times it'll be one or two. And we have to kill 90 of these bad guys. And this is not a void spirit. This is this is one of their little brothers actually. He doesn't, he doesn't give us what we want. They hit hard though. Um, okay, so let's go back up to... We're at 85 now, let's try 95. Ooh, there's a starred one. Get that for sure. It's just a glow ring, that's fine though. This guy again doesn't count. Went wrong way. Might be a good idea to wear that slime ring while down here even. I don't know, what does the bonuses of what we have do? It does vampire ring gains health. Yeah, I guess that is worth it. Never mind. Uh so back to 85. I haven't found a single one yet. It doesn't bode super well for this whole idea. Um, back to 95. We do 105 next. There we go. This is like prom more promising. It's certainly darker. Nope, nothing. Okay. Back to 95. Again, I don't think those guys count. I think it's gotta be the guys with the mask. Mm, yeah, I think it's the guy with the mask. Oh, okay, I'm just looking at the wiki right now. It looks like the Shadow Brutes which are uh, the other guys, they're also counted towards the number. So that actually does count. So that's, that's good. That's, those are the weaker guys of the, of the two. We could fight more of those guys actually be better because they die quicker, I think. A little less difficult to hit. But we only get in one or two each time we do this. So getting 90 means back and forth, you know, 90 times. I mean, it's not that bad. We've, we've gotten, what, four, four or five so far? Not minimal effort, probably. I wonder if we wouldn't be better off going deeper. Oh, there's a guy. This is the guy I was afraid of. Yeah, this guy's tougher. Oh, he died quickly, though. Alright, so let's go deeper here quick. So we're gonna be wrapping up for the night here pretty soon. still have, you know, 90 some to go here, so I don't even know if we'll get this done before the end of the year. If it's feasible, even. Maybe if we do another couple days like today, where we just don't only focus on this as our only task. Again, it's also pretty dangerous, because there's lots of enemies that could hurt us here, and we didn't bring a lot of food with us. Start back at 85. Give us food actually as we go here. We can start eating some of this to clear out our pack a little bit. How do we get the ghost fish? That just dropped from the ghost, maybe? Interesting. Only eight health on those. Maybe it's not worth it. Okay, 95. Oh! 
We're ready. We're ready for you. Don't worry. We're ready. Who's this guy? Oh, that was a good one. There's three of them here. Now that it's midnight, they're they're more plentiful. All right. Well, let's let's wrap it up there. We'll come back next time and see if we want to wrap up the rest of this quest line. It might be not very interesting, unfortunately. I don't know. There's not much to wrap up anymore right now. It is the middle of winter still, obviously. So there's always less to do. Uh, I'll grab this for Abigail. That was that take that's taken care of then. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow or the next day for another one out of these episodes. We're slowly wrapping up the season though. And uh, we'll uh, try it out next time. I'm gonna head to bed here. And uh, when I wake up, Leah's gonna be freaked out with the skeleton next to her in the bed. So without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for more Stardew Valley. Have a good night.